Hey, Avon, welcome, man. Welcome, well welcome. Done. Well done, well done, well done. And welcome to Pakisa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not a, I'm not a Pakisa virgin, you know? Oh, yes, I know you're not, but, yeah. um, but we are both vir Speed Week virgins, aren't we? Yeah, that is true. Not anymore. Not anymore, <laughs> not anymore. Okay, man, uh, this is our last day of Speed Week, Top Gear SA Speed Week. Um, it's, it's been a long time coming, I think. Sure. Um, at some point we thought, okay, this is not going to happen. It might, it might not happen, but, but here you are, man. It's happened. It's happened. It's happened. Um, 13 cars, cool. 13 cars that Very we brought cool. uh, to this beautiful free state. Um, any surprises for you? I mean, the cars are here. Was there anything that you really fancied and you thought, ah, that this one is going to walk it or whatever the case is? So because you get to drive most of the nice cars in the office. <laughs> wow. Okay, <laughs> fine. So, so I had never driven R8. Okay. So that was, that was entirely new for me. Right, right. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still... I feel like I still need a bit more time okay. with, with it. With it, okay, um, to get to understand it a bit. Right. Great road car, actually. It is, it really yeah. is, yeah. Um, genuinely. But I think on the track, perhaps I was expecting a bit more. Mm -hmm. Let's just talk about kind of two different cuts of the same cloth. Yes, the BMWs. So you got the M3. Yes. Do you like what it looks like, by the way? I do, actually. I'm probably one of those weird people that, that likes the nose now. I've, I don't it's, care. It's because you've warmed up to I've it. I've warmed up to it, but also, I've never, I've never received so much attention from a sedan. It gets people talking, and I think that was the whole plan with, with Munich. If that was the plan, we want our car to spark conversation. Well, then they've definitely achieved it. And then you go to a front-wheel drive? Yes, the TI, yeah. 128 TI. So there's only one question with buyers. Of course. Does is it, it compete? Is it better than a GTI? Yeah. Well, yeah. does it compete? Is it even in... I think it does. It really yeah. does. For me, it's really about the handling with this car. Um, as a package, I think it's a, it's a good hot hatch. It, it's really, really, it's genuinely good. If you love yeah. driving, I think this thing really it's rewards start, you. Yeah. you know, it's, it's, it's good. In fact, it performs better than it looks. Yes. Yeah, yeah. that's true. So it's a genuine driver's car. Don't get us wrong. We like, we yeah, really cool. like, really like the 128 Ti. But I think in this company, yeah, it, well, let's was, talk about that. it was left let's, a bit wanting. Let's talk about its company, which is that... Uh, GTI over ah, there. Ah, the Vrapa. Yeah, so yeah. it's the like national gold. anthem of cars, this one. Yeah, so we, yeah, called, it, it, we called it the, the, the eighth wonder of SA. It is, it really is. It yeah. genuinely is. I, but I, now you've driven it hard. You've driven it on the road. Yeah. You've driven it on the track. Yeah. I think for me, this is probably the most complete GTI, just in terms of everything that is good about a GTI. They've, they've just managed to just combine all the qualities that are good. Mm. Um, it probably doesn't, f I don't think it's the most, it's the sharpest thing in its segment, which is fine. But really, it, it, it really delivered where it mattered. Um, um, yeah, it's amazing. I, I think it's a great package. Look, this was really. a big surprise for me. It's not yeah. the biggest surprise, but I, I was very surprised by how it performed on yeah. the track, really. Yeah. I agree. Well, I mean, we know GTI, we know what it's good at. Absolutely. But, you know. Agreed. And then it's uh, Cousin. It's Cousin. It's yeah. foreign Cousin. Yeah. It's funny. I, I spoke to a professional driver um, and he was quite surprised by the S3. Yeah. Just how dynamically it was. It was pointy, you know, it was it was less of that understeer and expected. Yeah, and, and it was a little bit playful, he says. You know, it feels like the back end. I mean you can really you could lift off mid corner, kill the understeer, uh, and the car comes back, rotates a bit, and then you punch it and it just goes. So I think they've got it right. It's just maybe it, it's it's a little bland. It's quite chilled, yeah. It's chilled. It, it's it doesn't bit... shout, you know. Yeah, yeah. But it's always been an S3 thing. It really, actually, in this company, this car has just been so yeah. so chilled. It's very chilled. But, but it competent, delivered. But it delivered. Competent. It really delivered. It Let's really delivered. Let's really talk about that hatch there. Okay. All right. That thing. Yeah. Now, that's a sculpt of that. Well, that's, that's the sharpest thing here, I think. Clearly. In full. this company. I came to Speed Week, and I, immediately I said, this car, this car was going to do well because it's it's edc for starters it's not the manual which yeah. which was a bit crappy actually to be quite and honest it's actually really. quite a good it's actually quite a good box you know it's a good box they really they really sorted it before, out yeah. yeah they really sorted it out um but for me it's just the way this thing handles and it's know? that four-wheel steering the yeah. four-wheel steering yeah but the the front track as well good, i mean this yeah. car is planted you can feel it was tuned on a track on a track yeah and it's a chassis uh, for me, it, it, it really, I, I was expecting it to do well. In fact, the best delivered. chassis here, I think. Not by far. Yeah. Not really by far. It's, it's, it's the sharpest hot hatch here. 
yeah. without without a doubt. If you don't know what you're doing, it makes you look alright. It does. It does. Yeah. It does. Eh? It does make you feel like a hero. Can we talk about this tank? Right. Here? Yes, the tanker. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Audi RS7. Look, I mean, it's it's it, it's really a it's, it's a shop looking thing. I mean, you. It's definitely got presence. It's eh? definitely got presence. Um, I, I'm just not sure in this company and we'll talk about its rivals but yeah i think uh, you expect a bit more of the rs7 just dynamically and otherwise mm. um but it's a heavy car i mean you've driven yeah, i mean it. look at it yeah it's quite heavy um it's more it's more gt like fantastic on yeah those are yeah. fantastic on the road though. sounds freaking awesome yeah fantastic on the it road really really sounds freaking awesome i think it looks good uh, yeah. it's comfortable but just I think it plays that role of road car, yeah. great, road, great road sports car, car cool. Yeah. Yeah. But as soon as it gets into hard company like yeah, 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 yeah. on yeah. the track, we, yeah. and it loses. Also, I think the brakes, probably carbon ceramic yeah. brakes, because this car is so heavy. Yeah, uh, you, you need if that. If they yeah. expect carbon ceramic brakes, I, I feel the car could have probably probably delivered a little bit more. Sure. Let's talk That's about M5. Man, it's still the benchmark. I, I mean, it's there's, just there's, <laughs> it, it obliterated two of our sports cars here. Which we'll talk about their times but it's just so what it, it, is it i know i don't know it's well, I just, it's don't just something it. It, it does everything right and yeah. i think and i think that's why the m5 is still the king of saloons it's just it just does everything just well so i mean i know they're very different but when you when we drove the m3 very playful yeah. very loose yeah. you know you've got to be really awake this is just so much more competent yeah. and chilled chilled yeah. but freaking fast yeah 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 it's like it's like it's like that uncle you know you know if you got into trouble it's cool <laughs> you know the big boys and you call your uncle it yeah. doesn't look like he can bludgeon people and yeah, yeah that's, that's it's it. the m5 yeah yeah, yeah. No, and he comes in a suit as well absolutely yeah. absolutely i think this is probably one of the most underrated cars here yeah i agree i i people think of the 53 as yeah yeah it's 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 nice but it's not a it's, it's not a 63 baby yeah it's not a 63 um and for me I like its unassuming character yeah. because you, you you don't think it'll perform as well as it does. Remember when we drove GT 53 and 63? Oh yes. 53 for me was the one I remember. I mean, 63 was good, yeah. but 53 was like, hey, if I had money, I'd buy this. That's car. it. You, know, you wouldn't feel so changed, yeah. And I think most people say that beautiful yeah. GT, beautiful yeah. road car, yeah, yeah, beautiful sound. Absolutely, eh? absolutely. And I mean, they've, they've plonked this engine in here in the CLS 53. It just for me. It just. I think it, it lives best here. Delivers. Yeah. CLS is good though. The CLS is good. Yeah. Yeah. And the E53 is no. It's 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 fantastic. I really like this car. I, I genuinely. Then. <laughs> then there's this Yaris. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is probably hey, this Yaris. Just a Yaris. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Let, this is the question we've all had to answer. Seven hundred k. I mean, that's the first thing you say. So now, now you've driven it. You've done the things with it. You have seven hundred k. Are you buying it? It's a yes or no question. In a heartbeat, I would yeah. I would take this car. Yeah. I I think if you put context once again, I'm going back to the context thing. The 700K and how this car drives. Yeah. Once it's you've driven it, yeah. this price thing just kind Goes of away. Yeah. Yeah. Out the window. It's real bang for buck. I mean, this for me, incredible. yeah. There's this is probably one of the best drives in 2021. Biggest surprise? Definitely the biggest surprise. Absolutely, without a doubt. Yeah, I have to say, uh, yeah. me too. Biggest surprise of yeah. of the of the group, and it's cool. not like we've got some. It's not like yeah. we've got crap here, you know. Exactly, and, yeah, and this really. is from a brand that really just uh, produces really bland cars, and yeah. you just don't expect them to just. But and and, and, and that badge, you know, you put it, you see that badge on a Hilux, it's yeah. like nothing. You yeah, 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 you see it on this, it's precisely. like. It's like oh, well WRC done, Toyota. I'm, I'm, yeah, it's proper. It's, it's very good. Taking my breath away, really. All right, well, let's end with the expensive stuff, I guess. Yeah, the candy store. There's candy store. Okay, so there's right. 911 GTS. Yep. Obviously, these don't play in the same group. Absolutely, but, um, well. They yeah. certainly stand out. Yeah. Not surprising. Okay. Like, excellent car. Yeah. But not surprising. And and that's not a bad thing. Yeah. Just does what, it, uh, it does what we expect it to yeah. do. Yeah. I think, I mean, on this track, what I find quite interesting is especially in the bumpy areas, does get quite unsettled. Yeah, yeah. But other than that, just yeah. an amazing chassis. Yeah. And then what's amazing, I mean, really, really good shop tool on the track. But then what I like is that, you know, when we go home tomorrow, you know, you just, yeah. you yeah. just go home. Absolutely. You don't have to worry about, Absolutely. you don't have to worry about anything. That, that everydayness for me, yeah. 
that ability to change between complete you know yeah. track toy to yeah. everyday yeah. yeah is really impressive i think for me and well, they've just taken sorry, it yeah they've just taken it one more step yeah no they i yeah. mean they always do like two and a half bar yeah with it i think it's worth the money oh yeah in Definitely fact, I think everyone said bang for buck. I mean, just that's it. Just I mean, you either buy this on M4. It's a no-brainer, really. Yeah, I think it is. It is really cop. competent. Yeah. yeah. Then we've got this uh, surprise here. Yeah, hey? the um, 720s. It's a four-year-old car now, eh? Yeah, I know. And um, I know, but it's. I mean, it's still the it's one people still, talk about, eh? Yeah, it really is. It's, it's still a talking point. It's still a, a showstopper, and everyone who's driven this, including Jason. It just comes out of it, just gobsmacked. Yeah, it really is a it's, blown it's away, just, um, blown away car. Eh? Yeah, no, it really is. It really, really, genuinely is. Um, but what is it? I think it's a combination of a lot it's of just things. everything. Eh? Lightweight. Yeah. Everything is well judged. It's it's, and the way you sit and how and the view outside Very of the important, yeah. from from the driver's seat. It's it's. You wouldn't think this car is practical to use every day if you had to. Yeah. But. Um, it, it actually, I think it surprised a lot of people just how usable it is. Oh, yeah. Just you know? effortless speed. Yeah. 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 But you've got to be awake. Eh? Woo! You, you have to going be quickly. awake. You know, you really have to be awake. Yeah. But, um, yeah. No, it's cool. I okay, so it. highlights of the last three days. Woo! Yeah, it's been quite, eh? Um, I came in here, I knew the Megane was really going to perform well, and it just delivered. Yeah, proper. Um, the golf, I thought, I thought it wouldn't be as sharp as it was. Yeah, but yeah. the numbers don't lie. Um, E63, I think I was expecting it to be a little bit blunt, just because it's a heavy car. Yeah, it's got lots of power. Yeah. But you know, when I look at the spread, lots I mean, of every fun, car though. is great. Is great, but I'm still pointing there. GR. Yeah, the GR Yaris. I mean, <laughs> like seriously, uh, if if you look at that car, you look what what engine size it has. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be that competent. Yeah. You know? And it's but not just the chassis. It's quick. It's, it's actually it's quick. Actually when you, when you go quick. through the gears, it's quick. and engaging as well. Yeah. You know. And it's it's yeah. I for me, it's it's probably the most fun and the biggest surprise I think of this lot. Yeah. Yeah. So I agree, but I have to be different. Sure. So biggest surprise for me is the M5. Okay. But I'll we, tell we, you why. We, yeah, yeah. No, I'll tell you yeah, why. Yeah. I'll tell you why. I drove previous gen. And I only obviously drove it on the road. I was really impressed by how quick it went on the track. It yeah. it it was way quicker yeah. than, I, than I even lost a bet on this. Yeah, yeah. But it was way quicker yeah. than I thought it would go. Yeah. And uh, and as I say, you know, then when we're done tomorrow, we just jump in, we pack our gear, and we go and home in this go. in yeah. this beautiful this sedan. Beautiful sedan. You can cram your. I mean, kids. it is really, really good. Yeah. It is really, really good. Go on holiday with it. Yeah. No, it really. It's still. I think it's still an incredible car. It yeah. Really, really is. Um, what yeah, a, but I think car, eh? most will be revealed because that car actually outstaged a couple of cars that we didn't yep. think, but we'll, we we'll won't reveal we, much. You'll see soon. We'll uh, see by soon. the mag. Yeah. Um, but yeah, thanks, M4. You did, we did great. And that's our speed week, man. That's 2021 our speed week. Speed week. First and, uh, ever speed week. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so I think it was a successful speed week. I think. Guys, all the cars are here. This is great. They're intact. It's nice to have, you know, such a spread, it's such so colorful, interesting eh? cars. Um, yeah. Yeah. Get the November issue of uh, Top Gear South Africa to Speed Week 21, baby. To read more about this. Peace.